One's looking at me, one's looking at Hero. You're all right. Yeah, you're looking, you're That's looking looks at <laughs> But seriously, Dustin, or is it just on my end? I don't, I don't see anything. Yeah, my, on my end, it looks like I got one eye pointing straight and the other one pointing at my nose. Well, Russo, if you're telling me to look deeply into your eyes, I'd rather do that in person, okay? Money. Dynamite! Dynamite! Welcome, welcome to another episode of Identity Boom. It's been a minute, y'all. We have it. We're back here. We're excited. Big things are happening. Uh, if you guys have been on the channel for a while, you guys already know what the situation is. It's starting to warm up. That means these lovely teachers on the screen right now are out here running around and they're running around with a good cause i definitely want to introduce some celebrities in the house right we got some celebrities in the house uh Alterberg and russo are tf north teachers that have been doing amazing work in the community uh i had the luxury of of passing them by at school as i was leaving the great halls of tf north but they've decided to take their efforts out of the classroom and move it into a bigger spectrum and we can only applaud that um for all you guys that have been with the channel uh, at least a year now you guys remember seeing these lovely individuals uh, bare their souls as they ran 24 miles in 24 hours and it was a feat to see and accomplished to see and it was till this day still the highest rated live stream we have on the channel that has since when we were with them about 234 subscribers we gained 160 that day and we're at 555 right now so our channel is only seeing growth so for all the new people i definitely want to introduce a light introduction uh altenberg and russo uh their names will be on the screen accordingly but definitely definitely uh russo take the floor with the introduction and altenberg you can follow through uh chris russo tf north uh this is year 18 for me okay. uh english teacher I have taken over student council for a few years with Mr. Altenberg, coached baseball for a few years with Mr. Altenberg, and uh, glad to be back on the identity booth. <laughs> Super important. Yes. <laughs> I'm Aaron Altenberg. I'm a social studies teacher, uh, taught U.S. history, government, AP U.S. history, just about everything uh, in that department. Um, this is year 17 for me, so as, as uh, Russo said, baseball – uh, student council, and now our, our, our scholarship. We've, we've done pretty much everything together. If you see one of us in the hallway, you're going to see both of us in the hallway. Yeah, definitely, definitely. It's something to commend. It's, uh, I don't think I've done 18 years of anything. I don't even think I've been a good person for 18 years. So, you guys, <laughs> I congratulate you guys on that. That's one heck of a feat. 18 years of dedication and service to the community I grew up in. Uh, I'm a product of my own environment, and uh, some people look at me and say I've done really good for myself. I kind of look at them and say, man, losing weight is tough. <laughs> like, if you got a shortcut for that, let me know. But uh, it's greatly appreciated uh, to have you guys back in the mix. And just so we can give everyone the spark notes, the last time you guys were here, you weren't sitting comfortably in chairs in your lovely homes and being, you know, fine. You guys were on a track, literally running after being up for 24 hours. Now, I was there with y'all, but I wasn't there with y'all. Um, take us back to that moment where you guys crossed the finish line, you accomplished your goal, and where are we now? I think that that last uh, leg that when you were, were with us was kind of, it was a really special moment, I think, for both of us. It was uh, the highlight of, the entire the culmination of all that hard work and everything and as we we entered the school property uh we had a bunch of community members school board members uh our, our administration family members students some of our baseball players all join us on that track i think it was just a very special moment of everything coming together and and showing that support for for our, our cause for our school for our students for our community and i just think that that um, that 24 miles culminating on that track with all everyone around us was a pretty special moment. Um, I think, especially for me. Well, Russo, tell me a little bit about the situation um, that came up afterwards. What were you guys doing this for? Uh, so basically, what we were trying to do is we were uh, raising money for uh, students who have gone through some difficult times during their high school career and those difficult times could have been uh you know maybe great behavior um it could have been loss of a uh, a family member loss of a friend any kind of of difficulties and hardships that our students have gone through 
uh, but in the end, uh, have overcome those those hardships and uh, were graduating and would be college, uh, military, or trade school bound. So those were the uh, students that we were we were looking to help. Excellent, excellent. And Altsburg, did y'all accomplish y'all goals? Like, yeah, did the running part y'all finished? But were you able? What was your mindset go here? Like, you wanted to help how many students? How much did you want to raise? I believe in the planning phase, you guys said something about just raising five thousand dollars. How did yeah, that we, work out? We were our original goal was five grand, and uh, soon after we we spread the word. Uh, to the types of students that we wanted to help, and and uh, the community just got jumped on board whenever we we explain our cause and explain what our goal was. Um, almost before we could finish our, our our little spiel to them, they they were on board. They were saying yes, and our five thousand goal quickly went to ten thousand. And when we got to ten thousand, we up to, to fifteen thousand. And I believe uh, on the on the track when you were with us. Um, we got that, that that announcement that MTV was going to donate a, a a nice chunk of change, and that put us over our goal for twenty thousand. So I believe that we raised over twenty three thousand um, dollars last year with, with with all of our our sponsors and all of our, our people that were in the community, the the police, uh, the fire department in Calumet City and Lansing, um, and just community members, businesses, uh, even outside the, the Calumet City uh, community, Northwest Indiana, there was a lot of people jumping on board. So we were able to uh, definitely far exceed the goal that we originally thought we were going to be able to accomplish. Definitely, definitely. Uh, Mr. Mr. Damati Pongo, uh, Mr. MTV himself, uh, called in after seeing the live stream being up for 11 hours and asked me what the hell am I doing? <laughs> so I had to inform him that, you know, I'm doing this for our whole high school and he thought it would be super important to call some people higher up in the, in this communication chain. So he's definitely appreciated and, and by no, by no measure, everyone who decided to do something from the, from the local help to the statewide help that you guys received and even on the international level so it's definitely appreciated it was definitely um something i was proud to say i was a part of uh a lot of a lot of people's lives were impacted not just the people who received the scholarship or help but the people who took on a healthier aspect of life as i have ever since now dedicated myself at first starting off just running a 0.5 just get 0.5 hero <laughs> now being able to catch into the two mile run and it's it's hard for me to say that that wasn't something inspired by watching you guys run and commit yourself to something that's a little uncomfortable for a greater cause right so it's definitely something to commend but obviously i didn't bring you guys back here to brag about your accomplishments uh you guys actually have bigger goals and uh bigger uh, ideas of how y'all want to do this. So, Russo, give me the just the, the thousand mile view of what you're trying to do now. So we uh we still we we love we love the the 24 hours and quite honestly we loved being on uh, live with you for for 24 hours. So we figured what better way to get more time with you than to uh, up the ante a little bit. So we've decided that we are going to take on what we're calling the 50 in 50. So we are going to run 50 miles in 50 hours uh, and, you know, make it a bigger challenge for, for all of us. So that is the goal this year. On 50. 50 and 50. <laughs> Altsburg, tell me a little bit about how this is even a thing because 50 <laughs> miles in 50 hours, what's the breakdown there? Like, what what's the urgency to go 50? Wouldn't 24 be enough? Well, the format's going to stay the same. We're still going to do the four hours every or four miles every four hours, um, but we wanted to up David Goggins. And if David Goggins is out there listening, I know he raises a lot of money, and we'd like to challenge him to maybe to to donate to our scholarship to help some of our kids. But he only does forty eight miles in forty eight hours, so we're we're uh, we figured that was that was so, so close to a fifty mile that that kind of milestone that maybe. Uh, you know, I, I before this whole thing started, I probably never ran 50 miles in my entire life. So to do it in in kind of a 48, 50 hour span, um, we just we just like that that even number of 50. So we, we figured we'd we'd one up Goggins and uh, see see what we can get. Hopefully that that will uh, 
spark some more interest and spark some more people to to donate to a, a really good cause. Uh, definitely, because I'm sitting here and I'm already tired. Y'all haven't even started. <laughs> like, it, it takes a lot of dedication and fortitude to even commit to a schedule like this. But once again, we're doing this for people who might not even know it yet. So before we move on to the future, tell us about some of the past kids that we've helped out in this situation. How are they doing? Is there any update you can give us on them, Russo? Um, definitely have an update on, on one of those students. Um, she is currently at uh, Illinois State University, and she is doing, doing pretty well in her, her freshman year there. Excellent. Altenburg, you got anything else? Yeah, I was just going to say all, all four of our uh, recipients from last year, uh, they were all college bound. So they all used that money to wh whatever they want, whatever they needed, whether that was dorm room uh, things for books for whatever that money w uh, was going to go for their for their future plans. Uh, but we had a couple of them that were going to junior college. We had a couple that were going to a four year school. So um, that money was was well deserved and and went to some kids that were really going to be able to use it for the future that, to to further their future plans. Excellent, excellent, and it's that's heartwarming. That's a feel good situation for me. Um, now we're now we're here. We're we're you guys are already training. You guys are already in the next level of getting ready. Um, but you guys aren't alone this time. You've decided to incorporate other people into this. So who else wants to join you in this endeavor? Who else wants to suffer? So we uh, we reached out to um, a few other schools. Uh, you know, word kind of got out last year after after we did our twenty four and twenty four. Uh, so other schools were looking to jump on board and and raise some money for their schools as well. So currently we have three um, three other schools that have committed, uh, most likely four in in Oaklawn, uh, but Oaklawn, um, TF South. Mount Carmel and Shepherd High School have all committed to um, joining us in the 50 and 50. Uh, and with that, you know, the uh, the Endurance 24 brand is going to be able to reach out to other other schools and other students. So we're really, um, really happy to, you know, the, the outpouring of support and being able to, you know, get this Endurance 24 brand out there and reach a bigger audience. <laughs> Oh, definitely. And uh, Altenburg, I'm not saying this has to be set in stone, but with the addition of four other schools, that's five schools in total. How many kids are we talking about helping here? Well, I, I think that all depends on how much money we can raise. And I think that's that being on these types of platforms and get and moving that uh, that information to whoever we can reach. If we can reach a David Goggins, if we can reach an MTV or, or it only takes one one connection to to really blow this thing up and, and hopefully help a ton of kids uh, with the money that we raised. Uh, we've kind of earmarked for the next 10 years, we can give away four or $500 scholarships. And, but we want to try and do more. And we want to either um, spread that out to even more students to help more, even more kids or even make a bigger impact on, on those students' future plans is, and give them a little bit more money. So that's kind of the, the idea of doubling down plus the two miles with the 50 and 50 and getting these other schools involved is to try and build this, like Russo said, build that brand and, and try and get it to to – any kind of connection we can get that that can be huge for not just us but these other schools and and help impact the lives of of uh, more students than maybe we thought we could ever uh, touch just being at TF North. So, no, definitely that's amazing. So then it, it ultimately comes down to this Russo or or Altmar, What's our goal now? Like, uh, are, what's, are we gonna are we gonna go small and uh, adapt on on in the process, or do we have a number in mind? I say I think we're going to try and match it and beat it. I mean, if we're if we're going to up the ante and and run more miles, I think we got to definitely try and match and, and and surpass our goal from last year. So that's that's what I want out of this. All right. So that's a lot going on. There's a lot of moving pieces here, but I think you know from the sound. And I haven't talked to any of the powers to be, but I, I'm going to take a pay cut check, whatever the heck has to happen. I think the identity booth will do it this way. Uh, we'll get a 500 up front. I think we can just do that. And then whatever you guys, uh, we ever we make on the day of the show, whether it be prime subscriptions, whether it's uh, super chats, whether it's donations, anything we get on the day of will be donated to uh, the run sign up. And all proceeds will go towards that. I think that's definitely a fair, a fair gig uh, in exchange for 
uh, the amount of attention you guys brought to the channel and the amount of uh, retention that was part of it as the reigning champions of the live stream. I think that's definitely something we can offer up. Um, but for you guys uh, at home, you should know that all the information as it regards to signing up uh, will be in the description below. I'm not sure if y'all going to be able to get these cool shorts. Russo, are, we get, are they getting merch this time? Uh, there, there is going to be some, uh, some merch, some swag. Oh, oh, y'all see swag. my medal, right? Y'all see my medal, it's still up there. I got it, it's right there. And we've actually, uh, kind of redesigned the, uh, the logo. Mm -hmm. Uh, so it's a little bit more general. Uh, so it's Endurance 24. We did take out the TF North, so we're able to reach those, those other schools. Okay. Um, so it's an Endurance 24 logo. It's real nice looking. It's, uh, like a black and silver color and... Uh, gonna look nice up against uh, other schools and and the, the purple of TF North, you know, school colors. Uh, so that logo is gonna pop nicely. So we do have some. There will be swag, and it's uh, it's newly designed swag. Okay, excellent, 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 excellent. All right, hey, and for that worth, I'll leave the floor to you guys. Uh, uh, your call to action, Altenberg. Uh, I'll let you lead off, and Russo, you can follow through. Yeah, just uh, we just would like to offer people the opportunity to, to help impact young people's lives with this thing. That's, that was kind of our idea uh, during our lockdown, during being out of school. And, um, you know, with, with, with the amount of money that we raise, we're going to be able to impact not just students um, in the next couple of years, but for years to come almost until uh, we're, we're retired and, and leave TF North. And, and our, our idea is to hopefully build this, you know, getting a couple schools this year on board and hopefully word of mouth, can can reach out to these other schools and and maybe have this a, as a whole you know, south suburb uh, a scholarship for for all these students and and reaching more and more kids each year is, is our ultimate goal um just just kind of seeing what especially uh, specifically tf north has produced you know heroes a, a prime example of of these kids get, giving getting an opportunity and uh doing big things you know that was one of the i think our favorite things last year is reconnecting with a lot of our former students and seeing the impact and the and the, the stage that they have and the, the uh platforms that they have that they're they're helping people um on a whole bunch of different levels so um we were able to connect with some really uh big big people in in terms of getting this this information out there so um, we're, we're proud of each of those those kids and each of those those uh, TF North grads that are doing big things and helping people in their own specific different ways. And we just want to propel students to to continue to to uh, carry on that TF North tradition. Yep, and I think you know with with challenge uh, there comes growth, and, and obviously the challenge is out there for us. You know, fifty and fifty is is, is a bigger obstacle, um, but you know we're also challenging others just to get up get out, get active. And that's, that's the platform that we're, that we're obviously using to, to try and reach our goals. So you know, we're just trying to motivate others to, you know, to, to get active and, and in doing so help out, help out some kids who are in need. And, and I think that's an amazing task. Uh, the 50 and 50 is definitely going to be super interesting. We're going to make a commitment to have that live for you guys as much as I I mean it as much as they're in it. So if they're gonna be there, I'm gonna be there. And I think the commitment is for us to be able to give you access to the to the activities whenever whenever it's possible. They will be running in four hour increments. So for me, I think that'll be something that I can work around. Fingers crossed. We can always hope. But our commitment here from the identity booth is to make sure that uh, the people will see the work taking place. Uh, I think it's super important that we push this in the way that the internet works these days is it just takes one person to retweet it, one person with a blue check mark to like it, and there are thousands, hundreds of thousands of fans see it, and that's ultimately what we want. But from the bottom of my heart, on behalf of the Identity Booth, I uh, just want to say thank you guys for you know putting it out there, uh, taking lead, and taking the first step. Um, we don't hear enough good news these days in the, t in the trying times that we're going through. So something to give us a reason to smile is definitely commendable. So I'd like to definitely uh, tip my hat to you guys and uh, wish you good luck. We'll definitely have you guys back on uh, as things start to get heated up and even do a little preliminaries because, you know, we got to test it out. So we're going to start doing the little morning runs and seeing how we're going to make this all work. But ultimately, ultimately, uh, thank you guys so much for what you're doing. 
uh, the endurance challenge is gonna be it's gonna be crazy and I'm excited to be part of it and even more excited to see who we can help in the future we want to thank you too hero for allowing us to be on here and, and spread the word so it's uh it's been big for us to get the word out in a different way as, instead of us just bothering people all the time so we, we thank you and thank you at the, the identity booth as well absolutely could have said it better you guys are adorable thank you <laughs> <laughs> all right all right that's good we got a good